menu, select new or the appropriate shortcut right here. And once you do that, you'll create a new document which makes up an empty rack where the only thing inside this rack seemingly is the mixer right here, 14 into two mixer. You can see there's 14 different channels. Now, just like in the real world, if you have a rack with a mixer in there and there's nothing plugged into that mixer, you'll hear nothing, right? We actually need to add something into this rack, something that will make a sound, an instrument. Now, we can do this in a few different ways. We can right click in an empty area down here and we can select any of these seven choices between these two lines. Here are your sound making devices or your, or your instruments. We can select from the same list underneath the create menu. You know, this is the exact same list. Or we can drag over the new tool window, which you can show or hide underneath the window button and using this shortcut as well. So if we have the tool window across here and we're on the devices tab, if we select all of these guys, then we have a selection of all of the devices that we can drag over into here. We have a virtual music store of all of these devices, but if we uncheck more and effects, we'll just be left with the sound making devices, the instruments. And you'll notice there are seven examples here. There's three synthesizers, two samplers, a loop player, and a drum machine. Now let's make something happen really quickly by just dragging over the Dr. Rex loop player, drag it over into the rack. I'll move this out here. And we can preview that to actually make some sounds. Now you notice